Carrying Google Maps in our pockets often gives us the illusion that every corner of the earth has been explored. But for two intrepid explorers in Montreal, Canada, this couldn't be further from the truth. Daniel Karen and Luke Leblanc, both native to the St. Leonard borough of Montreal, grew up near a mysterious cave that held much more significance for them than just a teenage playground. It was a repository of ancient mysteries. Hi and welcome back to Unseen Tales channel. Watch the full video because we have a great surprise for you at the end of the video. Let's continue. In 1982, the local authorities in Montreal grew weary of trying to deter teenagers from illegally venturing into the St. Leonard Cavern. To address this, they devised a clever solution, installing a gate at the entrance and charging admission fees for tours. This move brought more than 70,000 visitors to explore the caverns, but left Daniel Karen and Luke Leblanc uneasy. To them, the caverns represented more than just a touristic attraction. They believed that hidden secrets lay deeper within. Daniel, who had spent his teenage years exploring the caves, felt an inexplicable allure towards their uncharted depths. Despite regular run-ins with the police, he sensed something mystical and otherworldly about the caverns, compelling him to venture further. Underneath the bustling cityscape of Montreal lies a hidden world connected by the St. Leonard Cavern. The authorities' control over access to the caves limited the potential for discoveries. Over time, Daniel became convinced that there was more to the cavern than met the eye, something hidden in its profound depths. Montreal's history itself lends credence to the idea that such secrets could be concealed within the city. Originally known as Hakalaga, the area was a settlement of First Nations people in the 16th century. French colonists arrived and transformed it into a trading outpost. By 1867, Montreal had become Canada's largest city, overshadowing smaller settlements like St. Leonard. As the city flourished, interest in the cave waned. The St. Leonard Cavern served various purposes throughout its history, including functioning as an arsenal and hiding place during the Patriots' War in 1838. However, after this period, it was largely forgotten. Despite new security measures and restrictions in 2016, Daniel Karen remained determined to uncover the forgotten history concealed within the caves that had captivated him since childhood. He enlisted the help of his friend and fellow explorer, Luke Leblanc, embarking on a quest to unveil the secrets buried beneath the city's surface. For Daniel Karen, the cave search held personal significance. While other kids had treehouses, his childhood fascination revolved around St. Leonard Cavern in Montreal, seen as more than just a cave, but a keeper of hidden history. Growing tired of being chased away by authorities, Daniel resolved to explore its uncharted depths. In 2016, equipped and with permission, Daniel and his friend Luke Leblanc embarked on an exploration like no other. Using dowsing, a technique often considered pseudoscience, they located a gap in the rock wall, leading them to a profound discovery. Beyond the gap lay a colossal chamber, much larger than the cave's main chamber, possibly stretching up to 700 feet. Excitement surged through them as they paddled through an aquifer with an inflatable canoe, guided by the beams of their headlamps. This cave's formation, typical of northern caves, occurred due to the erosion of rock by water and ice over millennia dating back 15,000 years to the Ice Age. The cave's uniqueness and scientific value prompted Canadian officials to protect it as part of their heritage. Another archaeological revelation unfolded on remote Trickett Island, long claimed by the Healthsuck First Nation. Archaeologists embarked on an extensive excavation, hoping to uncover traces of a past civilization. Their discoveries challenged established history. Beneath layers of earth, they found remnants of ancient wood-burning hearths, seemingly impossible due to the glacial ice covering the island during the last ice age. This finding perplexed researchers further as they uncovered tools and weapons unsuited for the Heltsuk people's traditional way of life. Among their discoveries were obsidian shards, a rock typically found near volcanoes. There were no known volcanoes nearby. 
Carbon dating of ancient charcoal remains from a hearth provided the shocker. They were 14,000 years old, making them the oldest carbon remains ever found in North America. This revelation shook the foundations of historical understanding. Daniel and Luke's exploration of St. Leonard Cavern unveiled hidden chambers beneath Montreal, while archaeological excavations on Trickett Island challenged the established history of the Healthsuck First Nation, reshaping our understanding of North American prehistory. The discovery of these 14,000-year-old charcoal pieces is undeniably extraordinary, surpassing even the age of the Great Pyramid of Giza and predating the invention of the wheel. What makes this find even more remarkable is that it pushes back the presence of the Healthsuck people on Trickett Island by 2,000 years before the end of the Ice Age. This revelation challenges previous assumptions, as it suggests that Trickett Island couldn't have been covered by the massive continental glacier. Furthermore, the use of boats by these early Healthsuck people, centuries before their supposed invention, adds another layer of intrigue to their story. Their journey likely brought them into contact with formidable prehistoric creatures like mustudans, woolly mammoths, and giant sloths. Surprisingly, these humans managed to coexist and thrive, possibly due to the protection offered by the constant sea level of the Pacific Ocean, which kept large predators at bay. One of the most astonishing aspects of this discovery is the oral preservation of the Healthsuck people's history for nearly 14,000 years. Despite this remarkable feat, their historical legitimacy is still debated. Media coverage has often focused on the scientific implications rather than acknowledging the rich history of the Healthsuck people. Some perceive this portrayal as highly disrespectful. Alicia Govro, a University of Victoria student who participated in the excavation, is actively working to shift the narrative towards recognizing the significance of the Healthsuck people's history. The Healthsuck claim to Trickett Island is one of the world's oldest land ownership claims, making this dispute a unique and evolving chapter in Canada's land-related issues. In summary, the discovery of ancient charcoal on Trickett Island challenges established timelines, sheds light on early human survival amidst ancient megafauna, and highlights the importance of acknowledging and respecting the rich history of the Healthsuck people. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel and get a chance to win a wonderful coffee cup. And remember to like, comment, and share the video.